Hey, hi there you guys, Virgo. Welcome to your general forecast. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, but only take those portions that are resonating with you. And remember to check out your moon and rising and Venus sign videos for a more complete picture. My readings, they do meld together. I really want to thank you guys, Virgo, for supporting my channel. It really helps the YouTube algorithm find me. Thank you so much. Today you're going to be getting five cards from the Rider Weight deck, three cards from the Hermit Tarot, and one teabag fortune message. And now here's your first card. It's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. You've got the Two of Pentacles, Virgo. This is the overall theme of the reading. Earth energy. This is Jupiter in Capricorn. This is juggling. Could be two situations at one time. It's changes. Multitasking. It's skillful manipulation. It's good fortune and enjoyment and harmony in the midst of change. This can also be a message about money that's coming in, a letter. It's adapting to change with nimble movement. Better times do lie ahead. And you're dealing with a lot, but with ease. It's establishing the pros and cons of a situation, being resourceful and flexible, adaptable. This is being accommodating and willing to please. It's a shift in life's focus. It's new facts and new results that come to the foreground, and they present you with a new perspective. You may need to follow the money, or travel, or even move house to take advantage of material opportunities. And your concentration is required. These are material concerns and being incredibly busy. It's handling things that come in waves, and adjustments need to be made. And when your life undergoes change, it's normal to have some insecurity and temporary upsets. You might be feeling unsure of yourself. You need and you do find new results. This can even be casting off old habits. It's going back and forth, up and down. It's maybe necessary to keep several things going at once. It's working on projects and things happen. It can be a turbulent shakeup. But you laugh it off and keep going. This is like things that pop up and then you take care of it. And you keep your vibe high by laughter. It's managing priorities, displaying multiple talents, keeping up with change. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences, Virgo. In this position, this is a challenge. The Ace of Wands, Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is a brand new beginning with Fire Energy. It's Divine Inspiration. It's renewal, conception, birth, inspiration, ignition. It could be the new beginning of business or arts or finance. It's high passion in relationships, a very strong attraction. In this position, the challenge position, this can be a premature start or a lack of faith. It may not be the time to fire things up yet. It can be a premature, it's even cooled passions, or a lack of potential, or an opportunity. You might want to wait. This is a delay of a new start, delaying the journey. It can be a clouded joy or a false start. The Two of Pentacles with the a of Ace of Wands is balancing new priorities. Could be uh, have to do with job satisfaction. It's adapting to change and working with tools. This can be repressed passion. Your third card, this is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you're consciously aware of, Virgo. The Four of Pentacles, Earth Energy, this is Sun in Capricorn. This is something that you hold dear to your heart. 
This is holding on. It's being defensive. Feeling more comfortable in your own comfort zone. Someone is being cautious, conserving, protective. They could be protecting their money or their boundaries. This is a fixed attitude and it may limit and block new opportunities. But your foundation is firm. But you may feel stuck in a rut. There could be a danger of becoming too stingy or holding on too much to feelings and not letting go. They're keeping something in, being stubborn, protecting, holding on to what they know. It's being financially stable and frugal, self-protective. It's conserving energy or resources, protecting investments, looking out for yourself, and clinging to security. Security and control are uppermost in your thoughts. The Two of Pentacles with the Four of Pentacles is investing in your stability, your business, its frugality and adapting to change, and security is your priority. Your fourth card, the card of the future, the outcome, the results, and the advice. Virgo, you've got the Ace of Cups. This is really good for the future. Water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This is overflowing feelings. This is a new emotional experience that you're going to be feeling. It is a lovely new start. It can be a renewed bond or new feelings or new love. This can be your intuition awakening and new emotions will be flowing. This can be the beginning of great love and it brings in healing and joy and contentment. This is the consummation of something you've hoped for, and it's a great joy or reward that's gained from a, a love relationship, and there's potential. Something new could be developing in a relationship, or some form of good news coming. It's a new spark, a beginning, a new love, or a one-on-one -on -one relationship of any kind. It can be the birth of a child or an idea. It's a fertile time for creative and spiritual growth. This is the gift of life. It's an opportunity for intimacy and pleasure. It's a gift of love. And you can make a new start emotionally. So taking this cup brings emotional and spiritual fulfillment. But it requires emotional discipline. And remember to pay attention to subtle signs of synchronicity and go with the flow. The Two of Pentacles with the Ace of Cups is financial balance and new emotions. It can be up and down emotions. It's also turning your career into a creative venture. You could be finding long-lasting love or even moving in with someone. Here's your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. This is what's unseen. It's unseen because it's something that you're not sharing with others, yet you are consciously aware of this, Virgo. The Six of Pentacles, Earth Energy. This is Moon in Taurus. This is the give and take of money, harmony and giving and receiving, equality and fairness, gifts. This can be a giver and it can also represent change. These are people helping out. They're putting in more effort. They're giving of their time and companionship. Or they want to. This can be partners who are kind and generous towards each other. And it is a good omen regarding money. The Two of Pentacles with the Six of Pentacles is juggling change and deciding who to help. This can also be a fun job or part-time charity work. Or being busy with work can also be entertainment. The Ace of Wands with the Four of Pentacles is investing in a business, in your passion. It's starting up a business. It's also holding back your passion or holding it in. The Ace of Cups with the Ace of Wands. This is simultaneous growth in both fire and water energies. But this delay could be with your passion. This is possible soulmates, a divine union. 
This can be a lover or a new friendship that will find ways to be useful to a new venture. The Ace of Wands with the Six of Pentacles is inspiration on how to create balance. It can be a great creative idea, even how to help others. It's promotion and recognition. It also may be an important reward. Four of Pentacles with the Ace of Cups. Maybe someone wants to give you a big hug. Or you want to give them one. This can be possessive love or they are very fond of you. Someone can feel possessive because you're a keeper. can also be keeping feelings inside or close to you. There may be fear of sharing their heart. They may be shy with emotions. This is being slow to express emotions or fear they may not be able to hold on to you because you are valuable. The Four of Pentacles with the Six of Pentacles is holding on to security and learning to be more generous. The Ace of Cups and the Six of Pentacles is love to share. It's a generous gift that brings up overflowing emotions. It's giving with deep love. It's a time of emotional fulfillment through giving and receiving and sharing. Here's your first of the three of the Hermit Tarot cards. Virgo, you are wrong. Either you are telling them they are wrong, or they are telling you that you are wrong. Maybe. Maybe, Virgo. Just maybe. Your third of the Hermit Tarot. Number five. If I follow you, I could lose everything. If I follow you, I could lose everything. Fives are about adjustments and loss, and their pivotal turning points. Here's your teabag fortune message. Accept the challenge you are facing. And there's that ace of wands in the challenge position. It may become your greatest gift, and aces are gifts. Accept the challenge you are facing. It may become your greatest gift. So don't be afraid. Thanks, you guys, Virgo. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot with that YouTube algorithm. So remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you guys out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.